This is the Asus ROG Phone 3 and at a glance, it does look a lot like its predecessor, though it does have some very neat upgrades here and there. And this is our quick look at the Asus ROG Phone 3. So there are a lot of things that are similar here compared to its predecessor. For one, it still has the same display size but the refresh rate has been increased to 144Hz. As far as gaming smartphones are concerned, this is the fastest panel that we've seen on a mobile device at the moment. So that's great for the ROG Phone 3. Besides that, there are also some design changes with the ROG Phone 3. For one, the back cover is now just a single slab of glass that are curved on either side. So it feels more like a regular smartphone instead of a gaming smartphone. And that is great. Previously, it had these weird textures on the back which just doesn't feel that fantastic. Of course, the ROG logo on the back still illuminates so you know you have a gaming smartphone with you. In terms of processing power, this phone is powered by Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset which is really, really fast. In my brief time with this phone, it feels very, very snappy. Gaming on it is very enjoyable and whether I'm multitasking or Whatever I throw at the phone, it can handle it without breaking a sweat. There is also a more affordable variant of the ROG Phone 3 called the Strix Edition which comes with the standard Snapdragon 865. So if you don't need the extra power of the Plus model, you can always go for that to save a few bucks. If you're wondering the air triggers found on the ROG Phone 2 are still here or not, well they are, right here. It's still a capacitive button instead of a pop-up physical one like the one found on the Black Shark 3 Pro but it's still very usable and very easy to use, so that's that. Last but certainly not least is the new camera system for the ROG Phone 3. Instead of a dual camera system, it now comes with three different lenses on the back. A 64 megapixel primary shooter, a 30 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and a 5 megapixel macro camera. Unfortunately, there is still no telephoto lens, but this is a gaming smartphone where camera is not the main focus here, so I guess it's fine. As for the performance of the cameras, they're actually quite good, which is surprising for a gaming smartphone. The main 64 megapixel can take some really good looking shots, the 30 megapixel lens doesn't look too bad compared to the primary ones, and the 5 megapixel macro lens is fun to shoot close up objects if that is your thing. But I've only shot with this phone under great lighting, so it remains to be seen just how well it will perform in more challenging lighting conditions. Stay tuned to the full review for that. As far as first impressions go, I'm really quite impressed with the ROG Phone 3. It has a fast 144Hz display, a fast chipset in the form of the Snapdragon 865 Plus, and it feels and looks a lot more refined than the ROG Phone 2, which is a great thing. I absolutely cannot wait to review this gaming smartphone, and it is expected to arrive here in Malaysia in the middle of September this year. Malaysian pricing of the ROG Phone 3 has not been revealed yet, but we were told it will be priced very closely to the ROG Phone 2, which retail from 2,500 ringgit to 4,500 ringgit. So expect this this phone to cost in the same price range. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and always remember to wear a mask when you go out to protect yourself.